people that despitefully used you. Uh, he has not forgotten that you've given money to people that hasn't given it back to you. Uh, he hasn't forgotten that these people that low down and let you, that talked about you and you sat there and you covered them. Uh, he hasn't forgot about you. Uh, please understand that brothers and sisters, uh, God's got a way of recompense. Uh, he's got a way of paying you back so much more uh, than you've ever experienced in your life. Uh, yeah. Uh, Y'all don't mind. Can I preach in here for a little while? Uh, I want to tell somebody in this room, uh, I got to sit here and let the world know uh, that I stand a hundred percent for my God. Uh, I wonder if I have a witness out here uh, that's like me, uh, that says that in their spirit, uh, even though I may get persecuted, uh, I'm going to stand for God. Uh, I may be talked about, uh, but I'm going to stand for God. Uh, so by the time we get uh, to verse number 20 uh, of the fourth chapter, uh, Peter has said uh, as a response uh, to the enemy, uh, he says, well, uh, I can't help it. Uh, I can't help talking about uh, what my God has done. Uh, I can't sit here uh, and be quiet uh, of what he's done. Uh, because if he did it before, uh, I sure enough know he'll do it again. Uh, lean over and tell your neighbor. Uh, tell him, said neighbor, uh, my God uh, has done it before. Uh, and he'll do it again. Uh, yeah. That's why I can't help it because he's been good to me. And when God done something for you, I can't sit there and be quiet. I can't sit there and shut my mouth. Let me prove that to you. Children of Israel, when they crossed the Jordan River, Bible said uh, that instead of uh, closing their mouth uh, Joshua built an altar uh, and they gave glory uh, to my God uh, Job uh, said uh, I've got a testimony uh, can I tell you uh, what my testimony is uh, you took my friends uh, you took my family rather uh, took my belongings uh, you took everything uh, that I had, but I still rose up to tell you, like a phoenix out of the ashes, I want to tell you, though he slay me, yes, yes, will I trust him, can I preach in here, David rose to tell me, you got a testimony. Saul was trying to kill me, trying to take me out. He was threatened by who I was. But I told the Lord, you are my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. Shall not want He making me to lie down in green Leave me beside the still waters. Yes, God, I praise you. Can I tell you? He said I once was young. Let me let me take it from Apostle. But now I'm strong. I never seen the righteous for singing. She's begging bread. Say yes. Yeah, Peter, since you're in the text, do you have a testimony? Well, I remember there was a man called Jesus told me, look over to the other side, get the fish and open the fish mouth. Tell me, what do you see? I saw a whole 
whole bunch of money I didn't have before. Well, is that all your testimony? I got another one. I remember I was on a boat, on this boat, full of a crazy storm. And I asked him, I said, if it's be you, bid me to come. And Peter walked out on water. He walked on impossibility. Walked on liquid. Walked on things he had no business walking on. And the Bible said that when he took his eye off the master, he began to sink. And when he sunk, he cried, Lord, help me. Lord, save me. And from that moment, he reached out his hand and picked him up out of the water and escorted him back to the ship. Is that all? Am I right about it? Peter, is that all you got? Peter, please tell me what else you got. I remember Jesus. Peter said, I was in a conversation with the Messiah. The Messiah asked us, whom do men say that I am? They go and declare that he was Jeremiah, John the Baptist, Isaiah, you know, all those good people. They weren't good enough for the master. So the master said, well, whom do you say that I am? Peter testified and said, thou art the Christ, son of the living God. And Jesus said, upon this rock, I'll build my church. Enough about David. Enough about Peter. Enough about Job and them. What is your testimony? Do you got a testimony? Well, if I had a time, I would tell you, giving honor to God, who's the head of my life, to my chief apostle, supreme queen mother, sanctioned friend, I would tell you, I was sinking deep in sin. I was sinking to rise no more. But the master of the sea heard my despairing cry. And from the waters, he lifted me. Faith, am I? Am I right about it? I got a testimony. Two years ago, I was ran over by a car driving on the highway. The man ransacked me, hit me from behind. The car flipped around three times in the air, but it landed. And when it landed, I was able to get out unharmed. I may have had a fracture, but I still had my pain. I may have had been broken, but I still had a testimony. I may have been hurting, but I still had God on my side. Say yeah. Good evening, y'all. It's been fun. Elders got to run. But before I leave you, I got one more. Story. I got one more testimony. I've got to tell you. Can I tell you? Can I tell you my testimony? Can I tell you what I got to say? Well. This man was in the garden of Gethsemane praying, praying to the God, telling us, let this cup pass from me. This man came back to 
bones uh, and said, uh, Nevertheless, uh, not my will, uh, but thy will uh, be done. Uh, and so, 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 so. I'm trying to tell you what he did. I'm trying to tell you what he did. Well, 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 he died. He died till the sun refused to shine. He died till the temple ripped in twain. He died. He died. He died. He died. To the temple began to say, but That's why I praise him. That's why I shout. That's why I holler. 